Welcome to our Air Duffel Pack 3 review. It's a gym bag, it's a work bag, but is it your bag? As the name suggests, this is the third version. There is a second version, the Air Duffel Pack 2, that we're going to be leading this review with by sort of comparing and contrasting them. So if you wanna know where they differ, continue watching. But if you just wanna get into the meat and potatoes of the Air Duffel Pack 3, hit this timestamp right there. My name is Aaron, the guy behind the camera is Tab. Together we're Nomads Nation. We do the best backpack reviews on the web. If you dig backpacks, hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. Let the review begin. All right, so we gonna kick this thing off talking about the differences between the Duffel Pack 2 and the Duffel Pack 3. Right off the bat, size difference. The 2 is 25 liters and the 3 is 21.4 liters. The price is around the same. The 2 ran 170 US dollars, the 3 runs 175 US dollars. Call it inflation. We've also got some difference in materials. The main material in the main compartment is an upgrade in my opinion. We'll get into a little bit more detail with that in the middle section of this review. But also we've got an upgrade in terms of materials when it comes to the front top pocket. This has more of a microfiber like scratch free material and it's padded, it's so nice. And we're also seeing that material being used in the laptop compartment. As opposed to the two, we just kind of use this cheap shit. Both have ventilated shoe compartments, but the style's a little bit different. The two has the two holes and the three has the three holes. Do you think that's why they did it? I don't know. But the biggest difference between the two is the design change on the front. The Air Duffel Pack 2 had one water bottle holder and then sort of like a front pocket, like for tech stuff, throw your battery in there, throw your phone in there, kind of like laid on the side like this. But the three cut the little side tech compartment and instead you now have two water bottle holders. Now I gotta say, at first I was a little concerned about this change because I kind of liked this pocket. I thought it had a cool function and it was just another way to organize your stuff. But on the con side, this pocket had a tendency for things to fall out, especially when you were wearing the actual bag. So I can see why they cut it. And at the end of the day, this is a gym bag. And to all my gym peeps out there, a lot of y'all are rocking with a water bottle and like a protein shake or whatever it might be, maybe two water bottles. So I think that this setup is actually superior to the two. So while I will miss this side pocket, I gotta say across the board, the three is an upgrade over the two for sure. All right, now let's actually get into the Air Duffel Pack 3, tear it apart so you can decide whether or not this is the pack for you. Let's talk about the gist, like what are you even? The Air Duffel Pack 3 is an ideal backpack for somebody that's looking for a backpack for gym and work. The gym side of the pack is like the duffel style opening to the main compartment, the dual water bottle holders, as well as the ventilated shoe compartment. And then on the work side, you got a really sweet tech compartment. Nice organization for all of your tidbits of gear and a well padded laptop sleeve with a false bottom. So if you're the type of person that wakes up at like six o'clock in the morning and before work, you head to the gym, you're just like pumping those weights and then you shower at the gym and then you go to work, then you are the type of person that this backpack is designed for. And just some other quick points about this. It's got a really unique design. I've never seen like a duffel backpack fusion like this before. Well, excluded the two. And it also has a really long design. That longer shape means it rests on your back in a way that I just personally find to be like really comfortable. Okay, let's talk about the front of the Air Duffel Pack 3. Okay, let's start with these water bottle pockets. They look neat and tidy, but those can expand. Case in point, one liter Nalgene, you're like, oh, that's a nice little neat and tidy water bottle pocket. No way the one liter Nalgene fits in there. Kaboom, with a lot of room to spare. This is great, because you're at the gym. You wanna stay hydrated. You wanna bring your protein shake. Maybe you just wanna put an umbrella or something else there. Regardless, these pockets are very functional and that expandability means that you can fit a lot of different things in there. Now, north of each water bottle pocket, we have a quick access sort of zip pocket. These pockets are, Okay, they're nice to have, don't get me wrong. On this side, I got my AirPods. On this side, I got some backup tissue as well as my keys with the key chain solution. The pockets are a bit tight. Like I said, my, I'm, I'm a smaller dude. So like my hands aren't like the biggest hands in the world, but Tab's got these big like shovel hands and he has a hard time sort of reaching there. Granted, the pocket doesn't run too far deep. It's too about here. But if you got like bigger hands getting to the bottom, especially if there's like a few tidbits of gear in there, you're gonna be rummaging around. It can be a little irksome. Let's talk about the keyring solution. Now, this isn't my favorite keyring solution in the world. Why, you might ask? I'll pass it to outside Aaron to tell you. Outside Aaron, tell them. Outside Aaron here. So yeah, when it comes to the keyring solution, 
If you look at this, I like a keyring solution that you can sling around and just grab the key, but the key's up here. Super difficult to get to, so you gotta kinda like do one of these and finagle and do this dance. And then even then, this key ring has like a clip on it, a little hook so it gets snagged. But it's worth noting, I like to wear my backpack nice and tight. If you don't mind wearing your backpack a little looser, accessing your key becomes a much simpler affair. So if you wear it loose, unlocking your door with the key still attached isn't too difficult. But like I said, if you're wearing it tight, like the way I wear my bag, then it's, you're gonna have to take it off and it's going to be a process. Back to you with the studio, Aaron. That was beautiful. And also to know about this key ring solution itself, the hardware I quite like, um, but you just have a little bit of functionality problems. And we see this with a lot of key rings where there's like this little hook right here. And as you are trying to take your keys off, it will get snagged from time to time, which grows increasingly irksome. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. You can just kind of like do that, but it's, it's, it's actually a little bit harder than you think. So overall, not my favorite keyring solution. But one thing that I am a big fan of is the upgrade to this top pocket right here. YKK zip. Easy to open, and I got my phone in here because of the type of materials they use. Oh my God, I love this. This is like a really soft, fine, like microfiber, which means it's gonna be scratch resistant, but also there's a really decent amount of padding in there. So fragile stuff, mainly think phone and sunglasses. They're gonna be really well protected here. I love what they did with this pocket, a big upgrade over the two. Cause it should be noted, like a lot of bags will have a pocket here with a soft material, but they won't have this type of padding. I really am looking forward to Air implementing this, hopefully into more of their products. I love everything that is happening with this material. All right, next up, let's chat about like the whole middle section. Starting with the ventilated shoe compartment. It's located on the bottom and it extends to the interior of the main compartment. We'll show you how that works in a second. And as you can see, it's just a good spot for your shoes. This ventilated shoe compartment can fit up to a size men's 13 shoes. And the ventilation is quite nice. You got these three little holes right here, nice and subtle. Okay, let's get into the actual main compartment now. Access to the duffel style opening is with two YKK zips with a PU coating. Now this PU coating is important to note that it's quite sticky. These are chunkier zips. So like it's not something that you can just like one finger, like you're not gonna just like pull this down. Like you gotta kind of engage the wrist and pull. Don't get me wrong, you know, it's not that difficult to do. And I love what Air did. They have like this little pull tab right here. So when you are closing the actual bag, you hold on to the tab, good to go. Seamless experience, great design by Air there. And here we have the actual main compartment. And like a duffel bag, there's no real internal organization in there. It's just kind of like a throw all. Some shit I got in here. I have a tech pouch from Air as well. Got another tech pouch from Modern Dayfarer. Umbrella from 7-Eleven. And now you can kind of see what we're working with here. You really only have one pocket. You got this little elastic sleeve right here, which extends to right here. And that's it. I love the materials. Air definitely upgraded their internal materials. The old ones just kind of felt cheap. These definitely feel a little more tough. Love the gray color. Helps kind of create a little bit of an extra highlight effect because it can get dark in the main compartment. But one thing to be aware of with the shoe compartments, it's kind of like a little giblet, right? It's just like hanging out. It's like, oh, I'm a shoe compartment. And it's going to compromise the amount of space you have in the actual main compartment. Case in point, I now have my size nine shoes in there and they're, they're you know, they're over three quarters to the top. So it's just important to keep in mind that when you have your shoes in here, they're going to take up a little bit of space. This is probably not going to be a pack for you if you carry like a ton of gear. But if you just got a couple things that you throw into your main compartment, should be good to go. And then the last thing to know about the middle is we do have a side handle right here. It's only on one side. I wouldn't really recommend carrying it like this though. It's more just like an access point to like move the bag around. Like, cause carrying it like this, like shoulder straps just kind of flapping all over the place. The handle itself, pretty well padded, basic nylon webbing, you know, nothing really to sing home about. It's more padded than your generic nylon sort of side handle. And finally, let us discuss the back. Tech compartment, three quarters opening. Gets you in right here. On this side, we have sort of just like a little throw all pocket on top. Mesh zipper pocket right here. 
Big fan of this pocket because I'm a big fan of the mesh. They upgraded their mesh as well. Never liked Air's mesh in the past, but this is really nice, very silky, really nice elasticity to it. I'm a mesh nerd now, but this is good mesh. And they have two smaller elastic pockets down here. Then on the flip side, we have the actual laptop area, two sleeves, sort of a tablet sleeve right here. And the actual laptop compartment itself fits up to a 16 inch laptop. And like I said, Air really upgraded their materials. I love this like microfiber material, very soft, very scratch resistant, and there's a nice bit of padding to it. You combine that with the fact that there's a false bottom, comes down to right about here. Oh, that's a really good false bottom. It's the falsiest bottom I've ever seen. Those two things combined mean that your laptop is going to be safe and secure. One thing that irks me about the tech compartment though is that I do feel at this price point that the laptop compartment should have some sort of PU coating, and it doesn't, and I wish that it did. Should also be noted that Air zippers have an anti-theft sort of mechanism where they can weave into each other and then now, Two have become one. But while that's a pro, some people do get a little irked by the jingliness of these air zippers. Doesn't bother me, but I've seen the comments on Reddit. I'm watching you, one baggers. We got a top handle here. It's actually a nice little space to be able to grab. It's not too tight. And also the same padding that's on the side handle. It's adequate. And then with the back panel sort of system, very standard air here. They definitely seem to have like nailed their entire system when it comes to shoulder straps and back panel. And allow me to explain, we have super comfy and cozy back padding right here. I think the air makes the most comfortable packs in the game. It's like a cloud. It's the air mattress experience and that comfort and that padding that cushiness is replicated also on the shoulder straps themselves great ventilation on this material as well and talking about ventilation you can see on the back panel you have this cutout right here this 3d eva molding this just means that your back will get extra breathability as you're on your way to the gym for the shoulder straps shoulder straps pretty basic no like hidden pockets or anything we have our sternum strap right here which is removable. Got a little clip right here. Also should be noted that all of this hardware is made by Duraflex, which is just a really good hardware company. And then on the bottom of the shoulder straps, we have these little uh, nylon web holders right here, or as I like to refer to them as dangle stoppers. And they do exactly as the name infers. They stop the dangle. Thank you. And then the last point is we have this right here, which I'm like, there's no way it's a luggage pass-through holder. And it is. And the reason I thought there's no way it's a luggage pass-through holder, because think about it, you got this bag and you're at the air of the port and you slide it on. It just feels like it's it's, it's, it's wide. You're gonna be, it's, it's gonna be hitting people. You're, you're not gonna be the most popular person at the airport, I feel like. It's nice to have just as like an extra grab point, right? If you just wanna grab your bag real fast, slide it on. But as a luggage pass-through holder, I question its viability. And also, Air gave a new little branding tag. Look at this little guy. He's such a little guy. You're adorable. Let's wrap up the review, talk about some of the overall pros and the overall cons. Overall pro number one, this thing is comfy as It's not just the padding, it's not just the ventilation, but it's also the longer shape and the way that it fits your back. Pro number two is going to be the great user experience. It's simple. There's no unnecessary weird features that you have to kind of have to learn how to use. It's just a really simple to use pack. And pro number three is we're just a big fan of the new materials and the extra padding in this pocket, as well as the laptop compartment. But I know, I know you're thinking, damn Aaron, you love this thing. Talk some shit. give me some of the cons. Here they are. These top pockets might be a bit small, especially if you got big old shovel hands like Tab here. Am I right, Tab shovel hands? Mm. Con number two is the capacity is definitely a little bit more limited, especially when compared to the two. The two was 25 liters and it kind of opened up a little bit bigger. This guy, it's just a little bit tighter. It's not like super small, but I'm just saying, if you're like that hardcore gym guy and you got like the waist belt and the weight resistant bands and like all those little tidbits of things that you bring to the gym that are actually big things, you're gonna run into a capacity problem with this pack. And con number three is a non-ideal location for the key ring holder. Who's this pack for? Is it for you? I'm gonna tell you, if it's not for you, I'm going to give you an alternative recommendation that you'll love. Let's keep it simple. This is for you if you're looking for an urban gym slash work pack. It's exactly what it's designed to be. If that sounds like you and you're just like digging the vibe and you're like, yep, I want it. We always appreciate if you make a purchase if you use the first link in the description. That link makes sure that you get the best price and it also helps support the Nomads Nation channel. This is definitely also the pack for you if you just kind of have like an active lifestyle in general. 
I'm not saying like hiking active lifestyle. We'll talk about that in a minute. But if you're like, you know, I go play basketball after work sometimes, or I go to dance class, or if you're a cyclist, or if you just like, if you play football, whatever it is, you're just like, dude, I'm active. I will use the shoe compartment. I like the duffel style opening, so I can just throw my shit in there. This is a pretty sweet choice. If that sounds like you and you're gonna make a purchase, we always appreciate if you use the first description in the <laughs> Just leave it there. <laughs> just leave it. <laughs> but if you're still here and you're like, I'm not sure if this is the pack for me, I wish that I could get a recommendation for a different gym pack, I got you. You might wanna take a pass on this pack if you're like, dude, I want myself an urban gym pack, but I'm just not feeling the whole duffel design. I just wish that there was like a more like backpacky urban gym pack. There is, and I'm not gonna tell you the name of it, because you have to go to the description to find out. And you will find a link to the review for that backpack and it's a totally sweet backpack. Check it out. This is also probably not the pack for you as I was just saying, if you're looking for like a hiking pack. Yeah, this is like active lifestyle pack, but it just doesn't have like the design and infrastructure to really be taken on like two, three, four hour hikes. If you're looking though for like an urban-esque kind of a pack, but that wouldn't look totally weird on the hiking trail, check the links below. I've got a great recommendation for you down there. This also might not be the pack for you. If you're looking for like a hardcore gym pack, you're like, dude, yeah, I need a gym pack, but like this just isn't the look. Like I want that, I'm a Spartan warrior who crossfits three times a week with my eight different protein shakes. Like, if that's the pack you're looking for, take a look at the description. We got a link to a full review of a backpack. That's just like a little bit more like super gym crossfit lifestyle. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I had fun, did you? Did you find this review useful? If you did, it would mean a lot to us if you could hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And let me know in the comments below, like is the key ring location as irksome to you as it obviously is to me? Do you like the main duffel compartment thing or do you wish that you had a few extra pockets for organization? And if you're watching this and you already own the Air Duffel Pack two or three, let us know what you think about it in the comments. We've noticed that a lot of people who watch our videos are ones that already own the pack and you're looking for like more information on the pack. So let us know what you think about it. Your comments help make the internet and Nomad Nation YouTube channel a better and more educated place. And we can all find the perfect pack for us. That's it for me guys and we'll see you next time.